<laughs> what is up guys we have got something very exciting today changing things up today on the uh, vlog we are leaving town we are headed to Pennsylvania to go to a diesels and donuts um, I think it's the first event they have ever had and uh, Dirty Max Jack on YouTube uh, if y'all don't know him check out his stuff really awesome trucks and builds and giveaways anyways dirty max jack i believe uh set this whole thing up and let me tell you what it's going to be cool uh it's about three hours away from my house in pennsylvania but i'm getting everything ready we're going to be taking the f-350 got the trailer the gooseneck I uh, got Dirty Max's sticker on there blowing money and then we also decided to uh, pop on the 6BT just to have that since it is a diesel um, you know meat we're also taking the Jeep uh, T-Dog Customs that reminds me, like and subscribe if you haven't. I promise you won't regret it. Um, so, yeah, we got this loaded up this morning. Um, it's not going anywhere. I put this oil filter on to keep debris out. Earlier this morning, I went over everything and plugged up all the holes that I was concerned with just to keep debris out of there. Uh, but the way everything is located um, with the engine facing backwards really uh, there's real really nothing to go wrong with um, so not really worried about that but so we've got that all on uh, let me tell you the rig's looking good I, I still need to uh, clean up the rig a little bit, tire shine, etc. stuff like that. There is no rain in the forecast, but I am bringing tarps uh, just in case it does start raining for whatever reason, then I can slap a tarp over this and we'll be good to go. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I think that's really kind of where we're at. I'm not gonna bore you guys with um, me loading up the Jeep and all that uh, but once I get everything finished up being loaded tied down strapped down then uh, I'll come back with you guys but this is a little out of my comfort zone I've never how do I say this I've never been to any kind of truck show years ago I would go to a whole bunch of car shows but that was a long time ago. And um, so I've never been to a truck show. Don't know what to expect. Uh, Dirty Max Jack, super cool dude, never met him in person, but um, he's very respectful. So I anticipate that this event will be very respectful as well. There are uh, law enforcement gonna be there, so won't get too crazy um, and yeah I'm I'm really excited the only bummer is that it's three hours away but I tell you what we're gonna get up I think um, the family me Aylin and my wife gonna probably wake up around five o'clock ish maybe 4 30 leave here because uh, the diesels and donuts starts at 8 o'clock so we've got to get all the way up there and I don't really want to be late I want to make the most of our time there so we'll probably roll up there 430 ish uh, be on the road so it's gonna be a be a early early morning um, this morning so Anyways, it is Saturday right now, uh, around two o'clock. 
and the event is on Sunday. So yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna get everything loaded up. I will see you guys back in a bit, but I am very excited and I can't wait to show you guys uh, all the cool trucks and especially Dirty Max uh, Jack's um, 450 that he's got in the gray. <sighs> Anyways, you'll see that later on in this video. What is up everybody? Uh, good morning, it's like uh, 4.30 in the morning roughly. We've got uh, trailer all loaded up. I don't know if you can see anything, but we are heading uh, to Diesels and Donuts, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay guys, hopefully you can see me a little better. Um, excuse the loud truck. We have got the uh, the Jeep loaded up as well. Um, and we'll see what happens. See if we, uh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what to expect at a show, uh, being that I've never been at a show like this. So I don't know. It's not really a show, I guess. Um, it's more just meeting up for coffee and donuts. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. So uh, it's really dark out. Probably won't video until the sun starts coming up. What is up, guys? I have got a uh, sad situation, actually, um, and a little a lot of bit of a bummer um, we were all packed up loaded up ready to roll to uh, Pennsylvania um, to go to diesels and donuts uh, with Dirty Max Jack and um, all those folks out there and we got on 95 and we started rolling and then I noticed a knocking sound kind of coming from uh, pretty much the uh, trans tunnel like right underneath that uh, it, it didn't sound like the transmission was fine and it wasn't like engine related either but the truth of the matter was is I wasn't sure what it was and I did not want to get three and a half hours away and then find out that, oh, you know, you need a tow all the way back home uh, with a gooseneck and all that we have that would have turned out pretty expensive. So I decided to turn around. There's more. I'm sure there will be another donuts. <laughs> Um, diesels and donuts event and we'll probably just roll with the truck and wait till the Jeep is completely finished um, no point in doing this uh, really it was just kind of hey let's let's do it but we'll probably hold off on this um, until the build is completely done uh, then we'll probably head to some events um, and you know see what people think of it uh, so I believe what was wrong with this was the exhaust underneath I think it was hitting the heat shield and at higher rpms uh, you know rolling around it didn't really start until you hit about 65 70 miles an hour um, then you could every now and then do 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 hear it and I'm pretty sure that's all it was, was the exhaust vibrating on the heat shield. And it was hitting under there when I looked. So I took a crowbar and bent the heat shield out. 
So here shortly we're going to take it for a little another test drive just to make sure uh, that that was the issue. Um, but anyways, it was it was really a bummer. Like we got up, me, my wife, and daughter, uh, Aylin, got up at geez 4:30 or 4 o'clock this morning loaded everything up and i mean we were ready to roll we were like an hour eh, 45 minutes down the road on 95 when it started happening and I, we probably would have been fine but i wasn't really wanting to take that risk so anyways that kind of leaves us with where we're at um if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed you should really think about doing that at T Dog Customs right there. So, anyways, uh, we will hit some more events though next year. Once the swap is done, uh, I do plan on hitting quite a few events. Um, hopefully, we may even have the color change done uh, next year. I'm not sure, uh, but that should be should be coming in the pipe works uh, pretty soon I just wanted to update you guys on that because I me and my wife actually were looking forward to meeting uh, Dirty Max Jack uh, Jack I guess is his real name uh, meeting Jack and his wife and you know that didn't happen but maybe next time we'll be able to you know zip over there meet up and say hey and maybe see some of you guys if you're if you are there so all right guys i'm out My goodness guys these seals are a absolute pain but we did get it we have just finished putting this cover on and you can see um, the seal is in there nice and neat back in the garage something came in the mail today this is the timing pin for the P pump um, in the side of the P-Pump, there is a little uh, pin kind of looking thing um, that slips in here. So when you line it up in the pump, you have to come around to where the, you see that line and that is top dead center for the pump. Then you stick this in right like that slip it in here push it all the way down in there as far as it will go and that's how you time your pump once that is stuck in there and timed to top dead center then uh, you will be able to adjust your uh, crankshaft around the top dead center then tighten your um, cam bolt down. However, I eyed it up um, without that timing tool that I just showed you. So I already got it to top dead center all set. And then I went ahead and also uh, stuck this on as you already saw. So, uh, so that's already all set. Um, once you have it set to top dead center, then you'll pull this pin back out. And literally what you do is you, instead of going this way, you just flip it around this way and you stick it in right like that. Then you've got your other bolt here. Slick, stick that on, tighten it down. And now the whole engine and P-Pump are timed up to top dead center, which is where you want it. And uh, you can proceed 
with the rest of your build. However, I'm looking for a adjustable wrench and can't seem to locate it. Oh, here it is. So we're just gonna snug this back down right here. Another thing I went to town today and got uh, from a local custom shop, um, A1, is a dash 10 fitting. If we come up under here, we got, got the dash 10 fitting right here, and I've got the dash 10 fitting right here. So what this fitting is going to do is allow us to screw this right up in here like this. Okay, so now we've got the drain line, as you can see, and then we'll run it down and right to here. So, I had, whoops, I had picked up this three quarter inch line. I know it's a tight fit. kind of roughly in there not in there all the way but um, that's kind of the deal if nothing else it's a temporary um, fix to the problem um, so we'll have at least drain um, and we'll put some clamps on both ends here up here and also right here and we'll have to tighten everything down i would love to be able to run uh, an fittings like uh, an hose i'm just not sure how to do that down here um so yeah i this is the easiest way and the cheapest way because we all know an fittings and especially the hoses um, are not cheap at all so We've got that, we've got the pump timed up. I think we literally have pretty much everything. I, I did take off this bracket uh, to powder coat. So next time I'm up at my cousin's house, uh, I've got this to powder coat and also this and the valve cover left to powder coat as well. So anyways it's coming along all right guys quick side note real quick my youtube name used to be power stroke 73 and i have recently changed it to t-dog customs um, so i just got some uh banners and uh, i ordered two of them and they sent me four so i got them off of ebay but i just now got those um on the trucks in the jeep so they came out pretty cool um it's not like anything special but uh it is surprising at how many follows on my channel i get just driving around town uh, having a sticker on so since i haven't been driving the truck much i figured why not stick one on the jeep that way uh, at least it gets a little bit of recognition while i'm driving that um, and if someone clicks on it great if not no biggie but that's kind of the situation with that um, some people have even said hey like messaged me through uh youtube saying 
hey i'm right behind you in traffic or something like that um so anyway it's kind of cool but uh did get those in and uh, very very uh happy about that 